Mejor el otro viernes también. Sí, sí. Sí, sí. ¿Qué bueno, están hablando estamos? ustedes? Ahorita, ahorita comenzamos ya. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. ¿Qué estaban hablando we que no talking... me invitaron a la conversación? <laughs> we are talking about the next Friday we're going to have classes. No, no vamos a tener clases. But, pero nosotros recibimos allí un comunicado de la, quizás es la coordinadora, una muchacha que, que siempre nos manda anuncios ahí y mm -hmm. dice que el viernes vamos a, no sé si a usted le dijo. No, porque ah, recuerden, okay. recuerden que las ah, clases iglesia, son, de, son de lunes a jueves. Ajá. Nosotros iniciamos clases lunes, ¿correcto? Sí. Entonces, si, si terminamos mañana jueves, ahí estamos cumpliendo con cuatro clases en la semana. Creo que hubo una confusión por parte de ella. A lo mejor, porque ahí nos puso sí. que era como para recuperar, no sé, ¿qué es lo que vamos a recuperar ahí, la verdad? Eh, no, ya le ya les voy a les voy a aclarar qué es lo que pasó. Dice, ah, buenas okay, tardes, perfecto. estimados participantes, reciben un cordial saludo y nuestro y nuestros. El día viernes 18 de agosto sí habrá clases. Reponiendo la clase que ayer que de ayer, por lo que solicitamos desde ya tomarlo en cuenta para esta presente sesión de ese día. Contamos Ajá, con su valiosa eh, asistencia en la videoconferencia de este día. Ok, entonces lo que pasó es que con el grupo de eh, Básico 2, eh, tratando de ingresar a la cuenta de Zoom, la cuenta se bloqueó y ah. esa clase no la recibieron. Entonces, como yo tengo el grupo de ustedes y tengo el de, el de Básico 2, posiblemente se equivocó. Ah, Ajá, es pero posible. Ah, clases sí no tendríamos, pero para Entonces, estar seguro, bien. para estar seguro, permítame consultarle. Ok. Ahorita le estoy enviando y les confirmo. Ok, de acuerdo. Sí, porque con ustedes, si bien es cierto, no estábamos usando la misma plataforma, pero no hemos perdido clase. No. Ok. Uh, let's start right now. Do you remember what was okay. yesterday's topic, actually? What was well. yesterday's topic? Do you remember something? Yesterday topic was uh, con conjunctions. Okay, it, uh, it was about conjunctions. However, since we were using, we were using a different book, we are going to start the topic that you can see on the platform, which is the simple present, okay? Okay. So in the simple present, because at the end, you are going to complete the book or the platform alone. Okay, just give me one minute. Okay, so that's going to be basically the topic for today, which is the simple present. Let me go ahead and share my computer's screen. And once you can see it, just let me know, please. Okay. Okay. Just give me some seconds. Okay, before moving forward, I would like to ask you some questions. What do you know about the simple present? What do you know about the simple present? Uh, yes, Evelyn. 
we use the simple present when the action is success in, in this moment. And uh, excite the different, the different rules and for the third person and if necessary to use to the S and ES and it's depend um, depend the, the the pronoun and only that. Okay. Well, if you know something about the simple present, we apply some rules to the simple past. And let me go ahead and uh, show you the PowerPoint presentation right now. You are going to uh, be able to complete the exercises online, which is related to the simple past. I said simple present, I'm sorry. That was my mistake. That's the simple past. Um, let me go ahead and share the information. Just give me some seconds. I think it's loading actually. Okay, in the simple past, you need to pay attention to uh, some specific information related to the regular and irregular verbs. Can somebody tell me what's the simple past of right? What is the past of right? What is the past of right? Evelyn. Uh huh. Rots. Rot. Okay, Rot. Vicente. What is the past of forget? Forgot. 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 Carlos. What is the past of understand? Understood. Understood. Excellent. Uh, Maria Jose. What is the past of uh fly? Fly. Maria Jose, what is the past of fly? Uh-huh. What? What is the past of fly? Okay, any volunteer, please, that can help Maria Jose. Okay, flu. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, Lorena, what is the past of let? What is the past of let? <laughs> it's okay. Carlos, what is the past of let? Uh, it's the same let. It's the same, yes. Uh, Lourdes, what is the past of a uh, cut? When you cut a paper, when you cut a paper, cut. What is the past of cut? Lourdes, creo que está en mute, se está hablando. Yeah. Ahora me escucha? Yes, thank you. Is a cut cut the same? Ah, it's the same cut, 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 cut. exactly. Yeah. Okay, uh, Vicente, yeah. what is the past of leave? Left, left, excellent. Okay, so the most difficult ones, the most difficult verbs are <coughs> the irregular verbs and. In irregular. order to practice, yes, in order to practice mm -hmm. the regular verbs, you need to memorize them. You need to memorize the verbs. Okay, now let me go ahead and share my computer screen. And once you can see it, just let me know, please. Just give me some seconds. Okay, can you see it or 
Not yet. Not yet, teacher. Not yet? Okay. It's all right. Not yet. I think it's loading. By the way, like some, some minutes ago, it was raining so heavy here in the city where I live. And the internet connection was not working properly. But right now, it's fine. Everything is fine, I think. <clears throat> okay. Let me go ahead and share the a PowerPoint presentation first. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Now we okay. can see the, the presentation. You can see the presentation. I want you to take notes, okay? Uh, by the way, let's see. I'm going to send you this information later on related to the simple past, okay? Because that is going to be the information that you are going to use um, during this week. Just give me some seconds. Vaya, confirmando lo que le decía de la clase. Si sí, hubo una equivocación ahí por parte de coordinación, las disculpas del caso, no era para ustedes ese mensaje. Ah, ok. Ustedes están bien, vamos, a, vamos al día. Mm -hmm. Ok, con las clases, perdón. Ok, let's see. Thank you very much for the information. You're welcome. Ok, if you can see the information here, I want you to take notes about the I mean, the spelling rules for the simple past. The spelling rule for the simple past, you had the first one, the first rule, and it says that the majority of the verbs, we're going to just add ed at the mm -hmm. end. For example, you have walk and walked. Walked. You mm -hmm. have play. In the past is played. Played. That's the first rule. The majority of the verbs you are going to add ed. That's the rule mm. number one. Okay. Rule number two. Verbs ending in letter e. You are going to add just the letter d. D. This is the rule number two. For example, like ends in letter e. And you are going to just add the letter D. D. So, like, light. Okay. Move, moved. Moved. Question so far, or is that clear for everybody? At this is... moment, it's clear. Okay. Everybody has the same uh, understanding? Yes, yes teacher. It's clear. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Awesome. Let's move to the rule number three. The rule number three says verbs ending in a consonant plus Y, we are going to change or we are going to delete the letter Y to I and we are going to add ED. ED. For example, look at this verb, carry. Carry. Ends in letter Y. So we're going to eliminate the letter Y and mm -hmm. we're going to add I-E-D. I-E-D. So, carry becomes carried. Carried. Study, we mm -hmm. eliminate the letter Y, and we're going to say studied. Okay? This is the rule okay. number three. But we, ho we also have the rule number four. It says, some verbs ending in a single consonant plus the second last letter is a vowel, okay? We're going to double the last letter. Is that clear? We're going to duplicate. Yeah. Consonant, yeah. vowel, consonant. Okay, look at here. Consonant, vowel, consonant. We duplicate the last letter and we're going to add ED. ED. So plan becomes planned. Planned. Stop becomes stopped. 
we duplicate the last letter. When you have consonant, vowel, consonant. Solo en esta parte. Questions or no questions at all? No teacher, it's clear. No question. No okay. question. Sure. Awesome. Great. Now, according to the information we have, just give me some seconds. Okay. Aquí está el libro, mire, el que ustedes están viendo, que es de inglés intermedio módulo 1. Ajá. Es el, que es el que co, es con el que tuvimos que empezar. El que corresponde, correcto. Sí. Es correcto, Pero som, somos humanos y nos equivocamos, ¿verdad? Así que hay las disculpas del caso. Exacto, teacher. Don't worry. No se Ok. So, eh, while it's working or it's loading, let's move on. Take advantage of the time, ¿ok? Let's take advantage of the time. Oh, pay attention to something else, which is really, really important. It is highly important, I would say that. Look at this. There you have the regular simple past. Ah, I forgot to mention something, guys. These rules, these rules over here, those apply just to regular verbs, not to the irregular, just to regular verbs. Is that clear? Clear. Yes. Clear. Okay, just regular verbs, not irregular. We're going to see mm -hmm. some examples. Okay, this is highly important. Regular verbs in the simple past in the endings. Okay, you have three pronunciations. Three pronunciations. The first pronunciation, if the verbs end in letter T or letter D, the pronunciation is going to be Eid. For example, waited, waited. needed, mm. wanted, painted, Want. okay? Counted. Counted. Is that clear? Clear. <clears throat> okay. And if the verbs end in letter P, letter K, letter F, F. G H, C H, C H, S H, double S, letter C, letter X, S. the E D ending is going to be pronounced as T. Not T. Is you need to practice. Si no hacen ese sonido, no van a estar pronunciando correctamente. Hop. 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 This Hop. one is going to be hop. Hop. Look. Knife. Hop. Wished. Watched. Watched. Kissed. Danced. Kissed. Fixed. Danced. Fixed. Okay. Let me select some of you uh, in order to pronounce those verbs. I want to listen to Oscar, just with the letter T. Le letter T, hop, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. look, look, knives, look, knives, calls. No estás pronunciando la T al final? Oh, Esta T. Sorry. Yes, sorry. Esta E D. Which un Esta ED se convierte en T. Entonces vos decís el verbo normal. Hope y luego hope. Look. Look. Wish. Watch. Kiss. 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 Dance. Fix. Fix. Well, thanks. Al, al principio cuesta. ¿Quiénes manejan? Levanten la mano. Ok, Vicente. ¿Han escuchado eh, que hay algunos vehículos que tienen, no sé, frenos hidráulicos, si no me equivoco, y freno de aire? 
¿Estoy, estoy en lo correcto? Sí. sí. Ok, la, la cosa es que lo, hay unos frenos que son de aire, más que todo lo pueden notar en los buses, en los, camión. en los camiones, carros pesados. Y se escuchan que cuando sacan el aire le hace... Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Sí. Ah, pues en eso me fijé yo cuando era estudiante. Y escuchaba, hey, eso hace el sonido de, de la... De la regla de, Ajá. del pasado. Exactly. The letter T. So, and I started practicing. Right. So, if you say, look, Is... cough, wish, wish, watch, watch, his, dance, dance. Ajá. Is it right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's yeah. practice one more time, Oscar. Let's do it. You can do it. Hop, hop, looked, looked, sniffed, sniffed scout, scout, witched, witched watched, kissed, kissed got danced, it, got it, fixed. Aha, uh -huh, más o menos. Carlos, go ahead. <laughs> okay. With example oh. of the camion. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. now, now it's better, Oscar. The first time you didn't you didn't pronounce the letter T at the end. Okay, but let's listen to Carlos. Go ahead, Carlos. Hoped, looked, sniped, caught, wished, watched, kissed, danced, and fixed. Excellent. Great job. And applause for Carlos. Awesome. <laughs> Great. Another volunteer, please. Vicente. Okay. Hops, looked, knifed, coast, wished, watched, kissed, danced, fixed. Excellent. Great job. Escucharon yeah, el. Escucharon el. Yeah, oh, right. Oh, oh, Perfect. That, 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 we we exactly. that, that was so clear. That was so clear. We, <laughs> we remember the buses and the and the trucks. <laughs> great. That was a great yeah, idea, actually. <laughs> right. Okay, Edwin, go ahead, please. Hoped, looked, knifed, coughed, 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 wished. Mm -hmm. What? Kissed. 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 Mm -hmm. Danced. Mm -hmm. Kissed. Yes, Evelyn, the last one. Vicente, your microphone is on. Aha, uh -huh, Evelyn. The letter D. Letter T. O. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh, hopped, looked, mm -hmm. is is night. Coat, wood, what, what, watched, he, what, watched, what. <laughs> Uh -huh. kiss, you need to practice. Uh -huh. Okay. Kid, dance, danced, danced, and, danced, and fix, fixed. Fixed. Excellent. Great. Okay. No quiero volver a escuchar de hoy en adelante y pónganselo de meta. Volver a decir wished, watched, kissed, danced. Okay. Porque eso déjenlo ya básico. Eso es para niveles básicos. Ustedes tienen que pronunciarlo de la forma correcta. ¿Es that clear? Yeah. No, more, right. no, more, no more fix it anymore. So that's fixed, <laughs> fixed in the past. Fixed. Okay. Fixed. And there, then you have the pronunciation number three. Okay. All the verbs ending in letter L, N, R, G, V, S, Z. V and letter M, the the E D ending is going to be the the, the cold. cold cold 
Cleaned. Cleaned. Offered. Offered. Damaged. Damaged. Loved. Used. Yes. Yeah. Amazed. Amazed. Robbed. Okay. Seemed. Seemed. Okay. Let's listen to somebody else. I need a different person who has not participated yet. Any volunteer? Andrea Esther, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, go. Called, cleaned, offered. Offered. Offered, damaged. Damaged. Loved, damaged, come on. Damaged. Damaged, loved, used, amazed, robbed. Robbed. Rover too. Mm -hmm. And seemed. seemed. At the beginning, at the beginning is going to be like very exaggerating. Okay, so it's going to be exaggerate. But since you are practicing, that's the way you should be. Okay, practice makes perfect. Carlos, go ahead, please. Pronounce all of them. Okay. With the Cold. letter D. Cold. Cold. Clean. Cleaned, offered, 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 damaged, d, el damaged, d te falta, damaged, mm -hmm. loved, 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 used, used, amazed, amazed, robbed, 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 seemed, excellent, okay. Do you have any question, guys? Questions so far? Or no questions no. at all? Is that clear no. or not clear? It's clear, but we, we, we need to... We need to practice, practice right? right? A little bit Verbs. more. With the practice. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and try to open the platform because for some reason, it doesn't allow me to log in. But let me try one more time. In the meantime, or meanwhile, we're going to continue practicing. Let's see if this time works. Okay, I think it's, it needs some time. Let's continue. Uh, simple past is very extensive. Okay, it's a complete big topic all right now if you see it over here okay i'm going to send you also this information to the whatsapps group for you to have it ready okay you need to take into consideration that okay. we have we have regular verbs and we also have irregular verbs with the regular verbs you need to uh just apply the rules, okay? And also be careful with the pronunciation, okay? The rules and the pronunciation with the regular verbs, okay? For example, you have here more verbs with the letter T, okay? This one yeah. is asked, baked, brushed, cooked, cracked, crushed, frost, Dressed, dropped, escaped, finished, fixed, guest, help, hope, hike. Do you listen to the to the truck sound? Okay. Do you listen to that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Great. And you have the d pronunciation. Agreed. Allowed. Answered. Mm -hmm. Appeared, arrived, believed, belonged, bothered, born, called, carried, changed, cleaned, closed, covered, and cried. Okay. And you also have ed pronunciation. If the verb ends in letter T and letter D, you are going to say accepted, afforded, attended, arrested, collected, contacted, counted. Decided, defended, demanded, divided, 
ended, expanded, expected, exported, and fluted. Do you listen to the difference? Yes. All right. Awesome. I'm going to send you those images as well because you need to you need to have them in uh in your hands. All right. But we also right. have this is regular verbs. We have the rules and we also have the pronunciation. Is that clear? Rules and pronunciation. And pronunciation. Yes, teacher. Yes, All right. I do. Cool. Now let's move to the next slide. And you also have the regular verbs. The regular verbs, that's um, a little difficult, let's say. Why? Because you need to memorize them. If you don't memorize the regular verbs, you are going to get confused or you are not going to understand them. For example, if you see, what is the past of have? It is had. had. The past to say, it's said. The past to do is did. The past to yeah. see is saw. The past to make is made. The past to find is found. found. The past to know is new. The new. past of get is got. The past to go is went. The past to write is wrote. The past to think is thought. The past of come is came. Okay. Is that clear? Clear. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Help me read them, Vicente. The regular okay. verbs part two until here. Okay. The complete ones. Okay. Take, took, mm -hmm. taken. Okay. Let me just explain you something. The okay. number three, this is the, the verb one. Verb one, okay? Verb yeah. two, and verb three. Why is that important to memorize the verb three? Because in the future, you are going to study some sentences like a past participle or or present let's see past perfect and present perfect sentences so you need the past participle verbs because in the future you are going to use them that's the reason why it's very important for you to memorize them okay sorry vicente go ahead please okay good put 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 yes tell told told yes give gave given gave gave okay mm -hmm. read 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 no read 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 ah okay the pronounce is different mm -hmm. okay the pronunciation read, read read yeah okay keep kept kept correct begin begun begun no begin began begun okay begin began begun begin began begun begun begin began begun let mm -hmm. let let yes hear heard heard no yes. hear heard heard oh hear heard heard yes Cut. Continue. Cut. Cut. Mm -hmm. Eat. Mm -hmm. Eat. Eaten. Eaten, yes. Okay, run. Uh, the same, I guess. Run, run. No. Run, ran. Run, ran, run. Run, ran, run. Run. Uh -huh. Run. Run, ran, Bring. run. Mm -hmm. Bring. Broad, broad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, bring broad, broad. Okay. Let me continue with the next one. Feel, felt, felt, hold, held, held, stand, stood, stood, understand, understood, understood, lose, lost, lost, 
catch, cut, cut, buy, bought, bought, send, sent, sent, fall, fell, fallen, shoes, shows, chosen, sleep, slept, slept, speak, spoke, spoken, meet, met, met, lead, led, led, bite, bit, bitten, hit, 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 drive, drove, driven, break, broke, broken. Uh, this one over here is sit, sat, sat, spent, 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 green, rang, wrong, work, work, worn, sell, sold, sold, bit, bit, bitten. Continue, Oscar. Sell, sold, sold, bit, bit, bitten, bitten, win, bitten, win. One, one, mm -hmm. hurt, 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 sing, sang, song, sing, sang, song, sing, sang, song, blow, 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 blue, blown, blow, blue, blown, mm -hmm. rise, rose, risen, risen. Racing, racing, right, roll, riding, rhythm, 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 right, roll, rhythm, fly, flow, flown, fly, flu, flown, fly, flu, flown, drink, drunk, drunk, mm -hmm. forget, forgot, forgotten, forget, forgot, forgotten, forgotten. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Forget, um, forgot, forgotten. Forget, forget, forgotten. Throw, throw, throw. No, throw through throng. Throw through throw. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't listen the next in my screen. Oh, you don't see yeah, it. I don't see. That's... I don't see. <laughs> okay, Please. that's. Excuse. Hang, hang, hung. Hang, hang, hung. Colgar. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and see if I can open the platform this time, which is Inglés Intermedio, Módulo 1. All right. <clears throat> He continues loading. Let's wait a let's wait a minute. I think it's going to work this time. It doesn't want to work. It doesn't want to work. Okay. Mm, okay. La página no sé qué dijo, verdad? Okay. No responde. No, no responde. Sí. Aha, uh -huh, it's not working properly. But anyways, we're going to make it work. So let me read the, the lesson objective. It says, um, with the first objective, we're going to move to the first one. Actually, before the class started, I was checking the information related to uh, the platform and the first objective is basically, let's see, it says here, I'm going to read it. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was and where and various regular and irregular verbs. Example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you will be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in, uh, I mean, in greater detail and get to know people. Okay, let me go ahead and play the video. Hopefully, you will be able to listen to the video. If you can listen to the video, just let me know, please. I think it's loading, by the way.
Okay. If you are able to listen to the video, let, let me know, please. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to. It has pause. OK, but to now talk about the past. Yo using... le he pausado, pero quiero saber si lo pueden escuchar. Uh, yeah, we can we can hear. OK, you can listen to it. OK, let's continue. Regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discussed how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes, I know questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements, either positive or negative, as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago. And we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past, such as I didn't speak English then. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past. And the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either with the verb to be, as you can see, is slightly different, and also using the auxiliary did. Let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast. In order for us to make sentences in the past, particularly positive sentences in the past, we're going to have a subject. And then that is going to be followed by a verb, the verb in its past form. And then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I have to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say I took English classes for a year. And then once again, what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom. I want you to notice that we have a subject, and I color that in green. And then we have some sort of verb, and then that is going to be colored in red. And then the complement, um, as you can see, English classes for a year. Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I, and then this follows didn't. Okay, And then this follows the verb, and then whatever complement. I didn't speak English, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't. And then 
it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay, so the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions asked. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject. And this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did. And then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there. With the only difference now is that we don't have a WH verb, and that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with, did you? And the verb in its present form, take. The complement is English classes in Argentina. There you go. Okay. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. In a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did, or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. It's important not to get confused. And so therefore, I would like for you to answer the following questions. As you can see, sometimes I will use did, and sometimes I will use the verb to be. And the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to some information okay, related to the explanation of the simple past. Let me go ahead and check some information here. I want you to choose the best answer. So any volunteer, volunteers to complete the first uh, exercise. Who's ready? Okay, Carlos, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, do you want to I read the sentences completely or, or yeah, read the, the sentence, read the sentence, and select the best answer? There are just five questions. Okay, uh, choose the best response to this question mm -hmm. Did she play soccer in high school? 
Uh, I think it's the number two. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played basketball. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number two. Okay, because you have the auxiliary verb, correct? Yes. Uh, Vicente, continue with the number two, please. Choose the best response to this question. When okay. do you graduate yeah. from college? Okay, uh, the response is um, the number two. I graduated from college in 2005. Okay, and what's the pronunciation for this verb? Let me see, um, graduate. No, ¿qué dijimos? Graduated. Graduated. Thank you, graduated. graduated. Uh -huh. graduated. Pay attention to the rules. Quiero okay. que empiecen a aplicarlas desde ya. All right? Okay. To avoid making mistakes. Sonia, choose the best answer to match this response. I grew up in Houston, Texas. What would be your answer? Okay. Or what would be the question? Choose the best question to match the reply. I grew up in Houston. Uh, uh -huh. Where did you, where did you grow up? The first one. The first one, yes. Why? Yeah. Because we have the auxiliary did and the verb is, is going to be the base form. Where do you grow up? Mm -hmm. Edgar, continue. Choose the best, the best question to match this response. And it says, I began to study English two years ago. Okay. When did you begin to study English? First, second, or, or third option? Uh, first option. The first option, great. Okay, uh, another person. Let me go ahead and select somebody else. And Sandra Elizabeth, choose the best response to this question. Uh, did you have a peg when you were a child? What would be the answer? Do you have a pet when you were a child? Okay. Eh, Galaxy, oh. Galaxy A30. Eh, necesito que ponga su nombre. Creo que sería la segunda. Mm, no. Uh, Vicente. The last one. Okay. Yes, I did. Let's see the answers. Excellent. 20 out of 20. That's great. An applause for everybody. Yay. Okay. Great job. Teacher, okay. Yes. I have which, uh, why this answer you is a short answer? Yes, I did. Ah, because this is a yes, no question. Do you have a pet when you were a child? Yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Choose for that. Uh -huh. um, es como que digas, sí, sí lo tuve, o no tuve. Uh, okay. No more yeah. explain. No more explanation. Yeah. That's the reason why it is called mm -hmm. a yes, no yes question. No. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So hey, with you. those with those type of questions, you don't complicate your life. That's just a yes <laughs> or no, and that's it. Yeah, right. Okay, now guys, uh, let me go ahead. We have some minutes that we can take advantage of. There you have the structure that you can take into consideration, okay? The structures are really important. For some reason, I cannot move this one. Let's see. Okay, so over here, you have the positive sentences, you have negative sentences, and you also have questions. Question. And this, this type of questions are just no questions. Why? Because you don't need to provide extra information. You are going to say just yes or no. 
Uh, let's see, Carlos, read affirmative, negative, and question. Okay. The affirmative, I had to wait. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to wait. Mm -hmm. Did I have to wait? Okay. So you can say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Yes, mm -hmm. you did. No, you didn't. That's sure. it. I yep. have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, the auxiliary uh, did, can mm -hmm. we use with every uh, verb or only we can use in some case because I don't have clear the idea of the did. A did in the simple past is an auxiliary verb and you are going to use it just in uh, actually you can use it in the simple in in the in the affirmative form negative and also questions for example what is the past of do do is is did 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 okay you can say i did the homework yesterday i did the homework yesterday and i can combine with another verbs with other verbs. But if you are going to use the auxiliary verb, like in this example, then like in this example, the verb, the main verb is going it's to have. be in base form. Okay. Present tense. In present tense, exactly. Look at this, you have auxiliary and you also have present, uh, present tense base form. Form. Base form of the verb. Is okay. that clear? Yeah, it's clear. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's continue. Another volunteer to read the next sentences. Galaxy 30. No sé cuál es su nombre. Tiene que poner su nombre. Sorry, I can shake the name of this cell phone because no is my cell phone. It's cell phone of my mom. And uh -huh. she gave me the class because my cell phone have a problem with the internet. It's okay. Evelyn Complete the sentence. Okay, Evelyn, go ahead. You had to wait. You didn't have to wait. Uh, did you have to wait? Okay. Thank you. Uh, another volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Go ahead. He, she, it had to wait. He, she, it didn't have to wait. Did he, she, it have to wait? Okay. Let me continue with the other ones. We had to wait. We didn't have to wait. Did we have to wait? You had to wait. You didn't have to wait. Did you have to wait? They had to wait. They didn't have to wait. Did they have to wait? Okay, cool. That's for you just to have a, an example of how to create a affirmative, negative, and also questions, okay? And okay. tomorrow, we're going to study the use of information questions. This one is yes or no questions, okay? Yes. And tomorrow, we're going to study information questions. With the information questions, you need to provide extra information. Extra information. Is that okay. clear? Clear. Yes. Okay. It's clear. Excellent. So we're going to continue tomorrow with okay. the next part of this specific topic, which is the simple past. Eh, Le voy a dar un minuto. ¿Tienen alguna duda, alguna pregunta o algo que no les haya quedado claro? Mm. Está claro, lo único que tenemos que practicar bastante. Sí. <ríe> Por ejemplo, y... me memorizar eh, los irregular que son muy importantes, como usted decía. Sí. Y entonces sí. tenemos trabajo. <ríe> sí, fíjense que eh, tanto, tanto para ustedes como alumnos, y tanto para nosotros como docentes, es uno de los temas que es bien tedioso. No, 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 no tanto tedioso, sino que tenemos que so ser bien cuidadosos en la forma profesional. 
Porque recuerden que si ustedes tienen las bases bien claras, la información bien clara, usted lo va a entender y ese es un tema bastante extenso. Imagínense, con los verbos hay que aplicar reglas, la pronunciación, sí. y ahí hay que entender la diferencia entre regulares e irregulares. Y luego nos pasamos a, las, a los tipos de estructuras, que son las yes no questions y luego las information questions. Y hay que agregar los tiempos en pasado. Por ejemplo, la, 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 las expresiones de tiempo. Por ejemplo, ayer, el día eh, antier, el año pasado. Todo eso tenemos que tomarlo en cuenta. Entonces, uh -huh. es bastante información con la que hay que jugar. Entonces, y es bien tanto, básico. Y es algo exacto, básico, que usted tiene que tenerlo bien claro para entenderle. Entonces, para ustedes como alumnos es bastante extenso y para nosotros también. Pero es algo en lo que vamos a seguir trabajando, practicando. Y van a ver que a la hora de completar los ejercicios en línea, se les va a hacer bien fácil. Ok. Ok. okay. Vaya, nos quedamos hasta acá entonces. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. And see you tomorrow. Yes, yes. See, you see, tomorrow. You tomorrow. see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Oh, oh. Bye. Thank you.